whether it's a little or a lot, takes force. When 15,000 tons of cargo have to be moved in less than a day, it takes a lot of force. These containers weigh up to 40 tons each, yet this crane is able to stack them on the deck of a ship as delicately as eggs in a carton. The crane is actually a combination of two systems. An electrical system provides power for the winches, while the cables, pulleys, and entire steel structure use force in a mechanical system. A mechanical system uses the force exerted by one object, pushing or pulling on another object, causing it to move or change shape. Wheels, gears, pulleys, and levers allow more force to push things farther, faster, or higher. Tom Jenner is a technician who spends his time in the powerhouse of this ship container crane. In order to maintain the lifting equipment, he must know about all the forces involved in the system and where they are applied. This crane has the ability to lift 40 ton. It basically has two systems, an electrical system and a mechanical system. The electrical system consists of electric motor and the controls related to it. The electrical system is coupled to the mechanical system. And the mechanical system consists of the winch through the gearing, which plays out the cable and also pulls in the cable, which actually lifts the container. We have to place some restrictions on this equipment so we don't damage it. The limit that we place on it is a electronic limit on the electrical system. We limit the amount of force that we can develop through our regulator. When we lift the container, we have a force that we have to overcome, which is the weight of the container, which is 40 ton plus whatever force it takes to overcome the gravity. We lift the container up. Then the operator trolleys out, moves the container out over the ship. Once again, we have to overcome a force. This force is a smaller force. He trolleys out over the ship, spots the container where he wants to lower it. He lowers the container. Then we have another force that takes over in that we start to regenerate and go into dynamic braking. The net result is that all these forces add up and the container is put on the ship. As an electrician who maintains the equipment on the crane, I have to understand force and the pulling of the force so I can set up the parameters to limit the amount of pull that the crane can exert. The net result, or net force, is what's left over when all the forces are added together. No matter how many forces are involved in this crane, there is only one net force, and it determines which way the container will move. In fact, when the operator controls the crane, what he's really controlling is the net force. Forces can be added or subtracted from each other like dollars, depending on which way they're acting. When forces act in the same direction, they add together to make a total, the net force. When they act in the opposite direction, they subtract from each other, and the net force is whatever's left over. These arrows you've been watching are called vectors. They point in the direction of the force, the longer the vector arrow, the greater the amount of force. Can you calculate the net force and predict which team will win this tug of war? The left team can pull 350 pounds. The right can pull 300 pounds. If you guess the team on the left, you were correct, because there was a net force of 50 pounds to the left. If both teams had pulled with the same force, the net force would be zero and no one would win. Net force applies to a tug of war in the same way it does to the crane and any other machine that uses a mechanical system. When the net force is zero, the system is balanced and nothing changes. When the system is unbalanced, the change is in the direction of the net force. Workers using a mechanical system must identify where the forces are acting, add them together to find the net force, and determine whether the system is balanced or unbalanced. Only then will it be possible to predict where the system will go and how much force is required to move it.